In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite routes out of the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that is through breaking down tips and strategies for you every single day that are designed to help you become a better player. So if you have not subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps me out as a creator a ton. And the thing that I want to let you know is that if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about the bunch tight end, a couple of different things um, that I wanted to hit on a little bit in today's video, and that is a route combination that I think you're going to absolutely love um, from the bunch tight end. And basically what it does is it simply creates um, an element of a flood concept on the right side of the formation, just like it creates an element of a flood concept on the opposite side of the formation. And so I'm um, really going to talk about two in plays in particular. Um, one of the things that I love about the bunch tight end and one of the things I don't think people realize is that the simplicity of the offense allows you to have such a really effective um, counter power counter meta type of setup and so um, anyways we're going to dive into this now really quickly I did want to let you know before we jump too far into this if you want to get my entire offensive scheme from the bunch tight end that is actually available in a full ebook that I did on the bunch tight end which you can get that link in the description of this video so uh, that video or that ebook in my opinion is one of the most if not the most effective offensive ebooks I've ever written it's probably the most effective and simple to follow ebook that I've ever written so make sure to check that out that link is in the description and if you have any questions about the video just hit me up via text message my number is 812-216-3644 okay guys so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking first about PA cross and then we're going to go into talking about kind of another concept that you can use but we're going to talk about PA cross through the lens of a little bit of a different route combination so all we're going to do here is we're simply going to take Marquez Valdez Scantling or the square receiver or the X receiver if you're on Xbox and we're going to motion him to the right. So we're going to hit circle to click on to him and then we're going to motion him to the right. And what you're going to see is we're going to snap him right in between the numbers right about there. And as we come out of the pocket here, you're going to see that now this crossing route is going to get a lot more open against cover four type of coverages. For example, let's say that we were in the same play and we didn't do those motion techniques. Then I want you to watch now, if you take a look at the triangle receiver, if I try to throw that, he's throwing that right into an outside quarter. This is kind of the tactic for a lot of people as they play this um, as they play this offense. But what you'll find is whenever you motion this guy across, which is why I actually almost think that this works a little bit better, you see that it changes the rules of the defense, it changes the rules of the outside zones, and now the triangle receiver is open for a solid 30 to 50 uh, or 30 to 40 yard laser. Now the reason that this matters is as we talk about this next play that I want to share with you, um, and that is the play inside switch, we're going to use that same motion. The only difference is instead of the square receiver going vertical, he is now going to be going on a corner route. Now there's two, di there's several different ways you can do this, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But I do want to show the first original concept and show you how you can really go in between the two um, to be relatively effective. So all we're going to do is we're going to streak the tight end. That's literally the only adjustment. So we're going to streak the X receiver on PlayStation or the A receiver on Xbox One. And we're just going to motion Valdez scaling to the right once again. And we're going to snap him right as he passes right in this little pocket here. And what you'll notice is unless they have some kind of match coverage, he's going to pretty much be open every single time. So let me give you another popular coverage that people are going to run on you. And that might be something to the effect of a cover four Mabel coverage effectively, as you'll see right here. You know, you just have underneath zones and all that. So I'm going to set this up again. And again, we're going to put the square receiver on a smart route. We're going to straight the tight end. And that's pretty much it. That's all we have to do. And we're going to motion the square receiver to the right and snap him right as soon as he passes the line of scrimmage. And what you're going to see is, as far as zone drops grow, he's going to get in a very unique position against the coverage. Because of the of the position at which you motion snap this, this corner route, it's going to do a relatively good job. I want to jump into kind of another popular defense that you'll see, and that is some Mabel coverage out of the 3-3-5 um, 
or the 335 normal formation, or I'm sorry, 335 wide formations. This is just simply cover three Mabel. And what Mabel basically means, as far as we talk about it in Madden, is it simply means that we're going to put a flat zone out there and then we're going to put a curl flat zone out there and they're going to play at different depths to try to take away the sidelines. What you'll notice here is if you get this motion, motion snap right, this corner route is going to get in between the Mabels. As you can see right there, he gets in between in a very tender position of the field. And what's really nice about this is the, the, the zones that they need to be able to stop the, um, the crossing route from the PA all cross is a 30-yard cloud flat. Well, the problem, and they need that from the outside, outside uh, corner, and so the problem that that creates is now you're running this inside switch play that looks exactly the same, but that same coverage will not be effective against it. Um, the, the only thing they hope is for maybe like a SWAT or something like that. So that's kind of the, the cat and mouse game that you play with this. Now, wanna, I wanted to take that step just a little bit farther and talk a little bit about another type of concept that you will see, um, and that's the Tampa 2. So let's say that you're going up against someone that's running a lot of Tampa 2, and you can tell they're running a lot of Tampa 2 because they're putting that corner on the outside into a cloud flat. If you see this, and this is something, this is a very technical tip, um, all you're going to do is, once again, you're going to streak the X tight end, so the X um, tight end right there, we're going to put him on a streak. And then what we're going to do is, I personally like to keep the play action. You don't have to. If you want to put the running back on a route, you could do that. Again, we're just going to put the X receiver or the X tight end on a streak. And then we're going to take the square uh, receiver on the left side, and we're going to motion him to the right once again. And we're going to snap him at the same basic point. And now what you're going to see is if they run cover two, you've got an absolute laser over the top. So... This is how you can really play some cat and mouse games with the motion snaps of your players. Um, I didn't touch any on man coverage. I do want to touch on that just briefly here. Um, one of the beauties of this bunch tight end is if you watch, there is going to be an alignment problem that's going to happen whenever you motion certain players. So, for example, when I motion the square receiver to the right, you're going to see that they're going to basically change who's guarding who. The other thing is that the square receiver does do a decent job of being able to beat man-to-man -man coverage because of the sharpness of his cut, especially if you're in mutt and this is someone that has relatively good route running. That's going to be, you know, very beneficial to you. But again, what I want you to want to really want you to notice here is you this is more of a zone play, I, I will say that. But if you take Table and Austin, you can put him on an out route, you know, kind of do some different little tactics. But this corner route does do a, a decent job of getting open, as you can see. I mean, right on the cut, if you hit him with a low ball, that will be, um, you know, that, that that will be an option for you. Another thing is, let's say that they blitz you. This play is really good against the blitz, and the reason why is because of the running backs route. So the running backs route is a nice little quick table route. In my opinion, it's probably the best table back route in the game. All you're gonna do is throw it out there to R1. Get upfield and take your yardage. So that is a little bit about the bunch tight end inside switch play in combination with the PA cross. One of the beauties of this offense is that it uses um, power and counter logic, meaning that it's going to have plays that look exactly the same, but they really go in completely different directions than, than, than what you had expected. So the beauty of that is it allows you a lot of disguise and a lot of multiplicity um, as an offense. So anyways, if you guys want to get that full offensive ebook, that link is available for you in the description of this video. One other thing I forgot to mention is that if you would like to get a free sample, maybe you're still sitting on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I want to get the ebook or not. I would encourage you to try to get that free sample. It's completely free for you to get it. It's an hour long, and all you have to do to get it is just text me. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. So just pull out your phone, send me a quick text message, say, hey, Cody, I'd like to get that sample of the Bunch Tied In offensive ebook, and I'll shoot it to you along with the rest of the text membership playlist that comes with that. So that's completely free. And then if you want to get the ebook, it's just 15 bucks and it is in the description of this video.